Welcome back. There have been a lot of changes for WSU's football program this offseason, but none bigger than at the quarterback position. Pac-12 Freshman of the Year Jaden Delora has transferred to Arizona and relatively unknown FCS quarterback Cameron Ward has entered the fold. I sat down with WSU's presumed starter next year last week to get to know him and his story a bit more. I'm getting to know the campus a little bit. You know, it's a longer walk. Then my past school having to walk about half a mile to every class. So, you know, once I get that down, I think things will be great. Incarnate Word undergrad enrollment, 5,081. WSU undergrad enrollment, 16,760. Yeah, it makes sense that there's a bit of an adjustment time for Cameron Ward, but that hasn't changed his personality. What would be three words you would use to describe yourself and why? I can use one word. I say a character. Uh, you know, I love cracking jokes with the teammates in the locker room. Uh, I love to get, I love them to, you know, just know my personality. Uh, you know, it's not all serious every time. Uh, it's just about having fun, you know, even on the field and off the field. But when it's time to, you know, strap on the pads, buckle them, it's time to get serious. Cameron only had one Division I scholarship offer out of high school because the offense his HS team ran was predominantly based on running backs. Nobody had really been able to watch Ward play at his full potential. However, the one person who saw potential was Incarnate Word head coach Eric Morris, who was hired as WSU's offensive coordinator in December. Morris called Ward immediately after the Cougs played in the Sun Bowl and offered his star quarterback, who had already entered the transfer portal. Was it mostly the relationship with Morris that, that sold you on WSU? Uh, it was a big part of it. Uh, you know, him being the only coach to offer me out of high school, the only coach to take a chance on me and what he's done for me and my family. Uh. It's not super surprising, though, since Cameron thrived in Morris's offense and won the Jerry Rice Award given to the nation's top freshman at the FCS level in the spring of 2021. In that shortened six-game season, he put up 2,260 yards, 24 touchdowns, and just four interceptions. In 13 games this year, he had 4,648 yards, 47 touchdowns, and just 10 interceptions while averaging a staggering 357.5 passing yards per contest. To put it mildly, Morris's offense with Ward at the helm will be throwing a lot. He fits the offense to the quarterback style. Um, you know, he doesn't want to over, he, he doesn't overcoach quarterbacks. He uh, coaches them to their uh, strong suits. I like the offense that he has because it's a true progression offense from, from left to right or right to left. Uh, it's not just a pick a side, either chuck the ball or run. And you also have to, the offense is a quarterback led offense. In just three years, Ward has gone from one scholarship offer to dominating the FCS to most likely becoming the starting quarterback at a Power Five program. How's he done it? Well, his advice is simple. End of the day, you just got to put your head down and grind to get where you want to be and just whatever's destined for you, you're going to get it. Mm. Very good to get to know him. Uh, Cameron does have a few NIL offers, and a lot of people speculated that might be one of the reasons why he came to WSU. He okay. told me, yes, I mean, obviously that factored in a little bit, but really when it all comes down to it, it's about going 11 on 11 on, on pads, and that's what I care about. And if you can you average know? 350 yards a game of offense here, that'd be pretty amazing. I think <laughs> that would work out well. Right. I think everyone would be happy. Oh, we love the sound of that, Brenna. Thank you very much.